What up, what up, everyone? This is Master Vavi, and today we got a new video on how AGS can save New World. Let's go! Before that, I want to shout out to the freaking awesome 24 subscribers at the time that I was recording this video. My new subscribers, bro, I'm in, truly in love with these people, even though 90% of them are fake accounts that I created for myself. Jokes aside, real quick, watch this awesome clip from my last video. People are going bonkers because this was insane. Now just cut the crap, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and do whatever. I know, I know, awesome, right? Let's go to this video. Yeah, sure, you could say, oh, I'm so important that I think I can tell AGS what to do. Anyways, I'm gonna give them five freaking ideas for them to try to save New World, even though I think it ain't that ruined, but they need to do something to bring players and maintain those players. Let's get into that. Some of these ideas came from myself, some of them from talking with people, with some friends. Some ideas came from like watching forums online and stuff, so, I'm not the brightest guy in the world, all right? We know that. It's not the most amazing ideas for some of you. It's hard to please everyone. One thing they need to stop doing is like listening to everyone. There's a lot of dumb people out there. Stop listening to dumb people. That's a bonus one. Anyways, the first thing that AGS needs to do to save New World, this is a great idea. OPR maps that are thematic, regional, or city-based. This would be insane, guys. So imagine having an OPR map that looks like Brimstone Sands kind of vibe. And then you have a, a, a map that would look like uh, Winsward or something. Winsward is boring, man. Winsward is bleh. You could have a map that looks like the Dynasty Dungeon. That would be insane, right? Like freaking Chinese vibes and people climbing up the freaking buildings and going inside having like fights inside of buildings. Can you imagine that? How nice that would be? Everyone would be hooked up and, and it would be like a rotation map or a voting thing. I mean, that would be an awesome idea. If you think you have better ideas, by the way, shoot them down in the comments since you're such a freaking smart ass it's christmas bad idea just all of your maps now have snow easy you're using the same assets whatever you're using just drop it in there don't tell me that you don't have it would be beautiful uh, it would be beautiful an uh, angry earth map that would be like insane i know you have it kind of mixed in this opr map but uh, be it more like deep thematic you know so so it feels different right and then you can have a corrupted map where you have your corrupted section of the man. Now you just blended everything. You see that corrupted zone where you go get the brute? So imagine a whole map like that. Some areas a little bit more, some areas a little bit more clean to balance it out, not be so heavy, but it would still be amazing. And then a, like a ghost area where it's just like everything is a little bit darker, more cloudy, you know, have that nebula around and like blue and dark. It would be sweet, sweet. Second idea, this needs to be done. Without a shadow of a doubt, AGS, my friends, my boys, listen to Master Vavi that will give you the wisdom. Server balance stability. You need to nail this out of the coffin, bro. You need to do this, boys. Hey, and I'm gonna add to this world merge, all right? Or just have one server per world. What do I mean by this? First, server stability and balance. Like, stop with the freaking lag. Stop with the freaking shutter that I'm always fighting freaking AT&T, T-Mobile, and all those dudes trying to blame them. But no, guess what? It's AGS. You guys need to do it. Why did I add world merge or server merge or have one server per region? Like, I know I'm talking with some terminology here that might not be very technical. If there are more players, means the game is more alive. If the game is more alive... Shit. More players seen means the world is alive. And if the world is alive, means... The game is a lot. There's less queue times and people like that. People don't just like to be sitting and waiting. You have a bunch of these servers that it's just like freaking empty. Just put them all together, merge them. We don't care about the warlords. Screw them. Screw them. Let them fight each other and do all their things. Now, here's the third thing AGS needs to do. They need to drop consistent new seasonal content. Whatever they promise, they're going to drop in a season or the map. Whatever comes in May, we know that May is coming. You see this kind of trend with AGS. They need to be very careful. Oh, we got a really nice news coming up in May. May is going to be insane, bro. Like, like, we can't talk about it. 
they're building up this hype if they come to the hype and they say all right season five we're gonna have x amount of artifacts we're gonna have new dungeons we're gonna have new opr map and we get to freaking season five can you imagine new world doesn't drop in season five what they promise right now like come on man it is like you're done kill him take him home put him in a bag hey põe o rapaz num saco mano enterro aí he's done get him out that was portuguese i forgot Everything that you promise AGS needs to be delivered. I don't care if you delay it. I don't care if you delay it. That's fine. People can live with the delay, but you cannot cut, then delay, and th then still drop like it's broken. Oh, no, no. oh, you guys messed up big time this last freaking season. You removed content, you delayed it, and it's still getting broken. Obviously, people ain't gonna be on your side. You guys come and do some nice Q&As, and you guys are brutally honest, and you don't skip comments that are bad for you. Hey, man. I respect that. All right, Scott. All right, Dave. I respect that. Like, you guys are tough. But eventually, if you don't do any of these things, you ain't gonna freaking save it forever. You ain't. Train is gonna hit you, and it's gonna hit you like, all right. The last two are gonna be kind of a niche thing. Fourth thing that HES could implement some sort of system that allows you to buy houses or build houses outside of the settlement. Can you imagine freaking people just building freaking houses everywhere? You're gonna say, oh, it's too much to ask. I don't care. Shut up. It's not too much to ask. It's never too much to dream. This could be awesome for PvE players. Big majority of people love this game because of its PvE content. It's saying, oh, OPR is what's been saving this. Yes, been holding it. But to save a game, PvE players, you know, they like to spend that money, brother. So imagine giving those money spenders that possibility to buy a nice house outside of the freaking settlement in the top of a mountain when freaking, I don't know. It would be beautiful, beautiful. People will stay in the game, make it super hard. Make it hard, all right? Stop with these freaking boys and gals that ah, I don't want to be crafting 210 ingots. That's me, by the way. That's me. Believe it or not, people like these kind of niche things, right? They want to be exclusive. They want to be the only guy with a house in the mountain or somewhere. I know this is, would be extremely hard to make, but it's possible, all right? Something like that. It's too hard, right? It's too hard. Be sweet. Now, the last thing that AGS needs to do, it's gonna be like, a, you know, a nice bundle of things that they need to do. First thing I'm gonna say is start playing your freaking game. You know, you gotta play your game to know what's wrong with it. Everyone feels that you guys don't really play the game or you're playing it kind of in a weird way. It's with cheats or codes or some sort of thing that it just it feels like right, but it ain't. It's freaking go do that. And then having some pets would be actually pretty sweet. You know, walking around just like a wow or something. Do some damage, man. I don't like that. I don't like them to have powers or something. They can maybe give you a small buff. A tiger would give you a, a small in power in PvE. Pet them and do all that math thing that I'm not a big fan. But it adds for that niece of pet players. Those PvE players spend that money, brother. They like that kind of stuff. Spend that money, brother. I like both. You remember the Tamagashis? Tamagashis? You would say that in English? Tamagashi, that thing that you just had to feed it all day. People like that. They will come back every day to feed the freaking animal. More transmog, you know, plates that you can farm. And more event bosses. Why is this one Yeti? Do two. This idea is really interesting. Alchemist, arcane, ability to create glows for your weapon. Ah, oh, it already exists. And then it does. But I don't want my gun looking freaking red or yellow. Anyways, if any of you guys liked whatever video this was, about you know hit that like button hit that subscribe button thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tell someone you love see you <laughs> why would i put this on a video why would i put this on a video <laughs> oh my god where do you get these stupid ass ideas master